Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a demo on the three Fenty Gloss Bomb Cream Color Drip Lip Creams colors that I picked up. So if you want to see them swatched on me and I give you my thoughts as well, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. I think today is gonna be a pretty quick video. We're gonna cover these new guys. Now there were five shades that came out. I chose the three lightest because I don't really wear dark lip glosses. So I just thought it would be kind of a waste of money for me personally. So I did only pick up the three that I thought I would wear the most. Now, if you're looking for wonderful lip swatches on a deep complexion, of all five colors check out Vicky J I'm going to link her video down below in the description box I thought all the colors look really fabulous on her so make sure you check it out and let's get into it so I actually wore these two colors all day yesterday so I have my thoughts on this product but let's talk about these so they are $19 each which I think is very very fair and they are a playoff of the original Fenty gloss box there are five shades in total like I just said and these are a cult fave lip gloss with pure creamy color and incredible shine that instantly leaves lips looking smoother and more voluminous everybody loved their original formula so this guy is supposed to be creamier more pigmented so let's take a look I do not have the original Fenty glow with me right now I think it's swimming in a purse so I'm just gonna show you fussy we'll compare it to the Fenty glow cream color now my my hands look really dry by the way because I just put some makeup remover on them so that's why they look that way so these are one swipe swatches the first swatch is fussy with the original gloss formula and the second swatch is the Fenty glow cream and you can see very different formula the original formula has some shimmers in them and then the bottom one is really just a true cream shine color with more pigmentation you can see the packaging is the same except you have cream on the front and so it still has the same fake applicator so let me swatch all of these for you so this first one is Fenty Glow second swatch is Mauve Wives last swatch is Honey Waffles now I actually made the decisions on the colors that I did was because I watched Tina Young from Tina tries it and she tried on all five colors and I thought these three looked the best and we do have a similar skin tone so I'm gonna do the lip swatches now I'm using Pat McGrath Labs Done on Done because it's pretty close to my natural lip color. Starting off with Fenty Glow. So this is a color that I feel like is very close to my natural color. This is a great everyday lip color for me. And I feel like it doesn't add much color because it is so similar to my original lip color. Really love it though. I can see it just being a really nice throw on gloss. Now we are going into Mob Wives. I love this color. I feel like I don't have a lot of lip glosses that are this more purpley undertone and I feel like it's perfect for me because I love purple tones so much. So I feel like I'm gonna wear this a lot with my purple looks. You can see it has kind of a medium pigmentation. It's not incredibly, incredibly pigmented, but it leaves way more color than the original formula would. So here is Mob's Wives. Finally, let's try on Honey Waffles. I'm excited for this one. I feel like this is such a unique shade as well. Yeah, I definitely don't have a lip gloss this color. So this one is really unique. I would pair this with a brown lip liner and I know I would love it with the correct look. This look not matching at all, but I think I like this one the most just because it's really unique. But all three of the shades that I picked up honestly are so wonderful. One is just my perfect everyday lip color. The purple is a unique one. It's gonna look great with all the purple looks that I do. And then the brown one is just really, really unique. And I can see when I do my brown looks that I'm gonna love this one let me just throw on some of Fenty glow for my outro now as far as wear time texture consistency all of that I like I said I wore these all day yesterday to test them they don't last 
exceptionally long. They last about as long as a regular lip gloss, so they will need reapplied. You will need to throw them in your purse. After you eat, it will come off and you will need to reapply, but honestly, I don't mind. It's a very, very moisturizing formula. It doesn't leave my lips feeling dry, and so it's really comfortable and fun to kind of reapply because we all love the really big applicator that it comes with. As far as the difference in consistency with the original, I think they're pretty much the same. The only thing is I feel like the creams might be just a bit thicker, but I think that has to do with the fact that it is more pigmented. But if you aren't familiar with the Fenty consistency, they aren't sticky, but they aren't too oily where they travel along outside of your lip line either. They're literally perfect. They provide a good amount of shine. I do recommend wearing these with a the lip liner just to be on the safe side. Yesterday, these didn't travel at all and I didn't use the lip liner. So you can get away without using a lip liner, but I always highly recommend using a lip liner anyways. Now, as far as which formula I prefer, I feel like I would prefer them for different purposes. I prefer the original formula for placing on top of lip color since it is more sheer. And I prefer the cream formula for when I just want to do a lip liner lip gloss combo. So sometimes I don't feel like putting on a lip color or the three liner lipstick lip gloss layers. So I think these are going to look better with just a lip liner. Whereas this, I feel like I prefer to place on top of an already existing lip color and I do feel like these do have a little bit of extra shine and I think that has to do with the shimmers inside as well. Overall though, these are a hit. I definitely would recommend picking up a couple colors that you like if you like the original formula. I love having a more pigmented creamy option here with these and they did not disappoint. So that was a quick video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.